I am with today in the dark uh, one of the greatest <laughs> performers, uh, again, not blowing any smoke, that I have ever seen, and you have to see him as well. Clint Holmes. Clint, how are you? I am great. We've just had a great day out here on the boat, and the sun is setting in the, what, west, east? Where does it set? I think tonight, tonight it may set, it may set uh, quickly. Uh, <laughs> now the boat is moving back and forth, but all the calls are coming in uh, to the 800 numbers of other people that have seen you in Palm Beach, and uh, it just is, how do you do it? How do you do it? Uh, you know, I love the, uh, it's the, the energy of the music uh, behind me and the energy of the audience in front of me. And I'm in the middle and I'm the beneficiary of that. And uh, so I, I, there's nothing in the world I'd rather do than make music and, and write music and sing it. So I'm, I'm getting to live the dream, as they say. Well, you said that to a friend of ours, Rob Russell, was asking you, and he called me and he said, that's exactly it. He's right in the middle of the audience, and the band behind him is terrific. Yeah. You've got some great musicians. You've got a great new album. You've got a, a wonderful show. And But the energy, if you've seen Clint Holmes, and if you haven't, even with Schenectady up there, the Schenectady Symphony Orchestra, whatever it is in May, Clint Holmes, if you can see him, if you feel you know, kind of down and out, and you go in and you watch you, it's it's like a miracle. Well, it's music, you know. Um, like you say, I have a great band. I have Jeff Nyman and uh, and uh, Jess Gopin on drums and Daryl Williams on bass and Mike Renzi, who is coming in as my special guest and, and playing, you know, as only he does. Uh, and, and I love the room. I love the intimacy of the, of the uh, Royal Room at the, at the Colony. And uh, the audiences have been very generous, and um, every night's been a party. Whoa, they say some people long ago were searching for a different tune, a tune that they could croon as only they can. They only had the rhythm, so they started swaying to and fro. They didn't know, they didn't know just what to use. That is how the blues really began. They heard the breeze in the trees singing with melodies. And they claimed that as the start of the blues. Then from a jail came the whale. Of a downhearted prayer, and they played that as the start of the blues. From a whippoorwill high on a hill, they took a blue note, pushed it through a horn until it was worn into a new. It. They rehearsed it and they gave out the news that Southland gave birth to the blues. From a whippoorwill high on a hill, they took a new load. Then they pushed it through a horn till it was worn into a new Southland. 